everyone, Loremaster Sotek here, and it's time. We have the next blog that is out for the update for Shadows of Change. So I'm not going to waste any time. We're just going to jump right in and see what good old Zinch has to offer. Uh, I'm quite excited for this because, you know, it's it's nice being able to <laughs> talk about uh, Total War things. It's interesting and fun. Uh, so... Let's see what the God of Change has in store for us today. So, looking at this, uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to move myself over here. There we go. Uh, all right. So, Shadows of Change Part 2, Zinch. All right. Let's see what Rich has for us today. So, it says, before I get into the details, I want to talk to you about the release date and where we as as of today. Uh, team is still working to finish things out, and we found a few things at the start of this week we want to address before we hand things over. Uh, they're making a lot of really good progress. We'll be back later this week with more information on extra units and characters coming to Kislev this week, as well as further release plans. Okay, so we should know the release date later this week. I'm going to presume that's probably going to end up being Friday, because I don't think they're going to do back-to-back. So probably Friday we will get the Kiss Love goodies as well as the release date, which means it's probably going to be sometime next week, uh, which, you know, pretty much adds up. Um, it seems like based on the wording here, they might have been looking for a release this week, but I am happy for them to take all the time in the world uh, to have as good of a release as possible. I think it's I think it's critical that they this be good. Um, it doesn't need to like be amazing but it needs to be good. Um, so anyway, let's hop in. Zinch Editions. Uh, let's see. Listen to your feedback on characters and units, which you've shared since the release of Shadows of Change. We have focused on improving the melee offering at Zinch's disposal for the Lords and Heroes. Zinch armies have always leaned heavily on magic, but we understand that having those hard-hitting frontline generals and heroes are important in balancing out your armies. This is exactly what we have added to your roster in the forms of the Lord of Zinch and the Exalted Hero of Zinch. Hooray! We've also taken the opportunity to add two further new units, which I'll cover below. To run the connection between Zinch and the Beastmen, which we first established with the introduction of the Zongors, we are adding Centigors of Zinch. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Having additional Chaos-aligned Beastmen in the Zinch roster is something we always wanted in order to best represent the various forms of Chaos. The Centigors of Zinch will pack quite the best you'll put a bunch of the field of battle for you. Hmm, that's really interesting. I'm curious if those are going to be... Um, I'm curious what variant there's going to be. Throwing axes would be really nice because Zinch has such a focus on missile units. I think that would tie in very, very nicely. But at the same time, having like great weapons would be really good for like broadening what Zinch is capable of. But anyway, we've also heard your feedback uh, on the appearance of our Zongors and your expectation of them having beaks. To be clear in the Warhammer Fantasy Battle Universe, Zongors don't tend to have beaks. Instead, they much more closely resemble the appearance of classic gores for the Beastman roster, which have a brutal and bestial look with teeth and jaw rather than uh, birds. Rather than being a separate offshoot species of Beastman, they are instead Beastmen who have sworn allegiance to the Lord of Change. Yeah, I would, I would probably classify that under technically true. Um, I think a lot of people still would have liked to have seen um, the Zongors to look a bit more interesting. As far as, like, it would have been nice to see more mutations as far as, like, feathers and stuff. Um, but this this seems to basically be them saying that, like, hey, we went to Games Workshop and said people don't like the way the Zongors look and want them to be more like the H Sigmar Zongors. And Games Workshop turned around and said, no. Uh, <laughs> so we tried, you know, we tried. I don't think there's really anything we can hold against CA really for that. Um so it is what it is. Moving on. Our second edition comes in form of the demonic flying. Oh, change bringers. Interesting. Okay. That is not what I expected. Uh, classic scene shooting from storm of chaos back in 2004. These flamers ride discs into battle, making them fast and fierce. Some opponents. That is very interesting. I was not expecting change bringers. Huh? I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense to lean on the storm of chaos stuff for, um, you know, if you've got, spaces you want to fill but I, I was not expecting those uh oh look at the chaos lord oh he looks so good oh my god he looks good 
Oh, he looks ripped straight out of Warhammer Online. Oh, he looks so good, man. Oh my gosh, what a boy. Uh, the Chaos Lord of Zinch. I have a great variety of marked characters and units with the release of Champions Chaos. Uh, we wanted to come back and flesh out some of the missing cast. So just like the mentioned units, Chaos Lord of Zinch will be available for both Zinch and Warriors. Those few who succeed upon the twisting path of Zinch become the most otherworldly of all Chaos Champions. They are blessed with both exceptional warrior skills and the arcane powers of the Lord, a Lord of Magic. This deadly combination makes them cunning leaders and lethal warriors. He looks incredible. Is he a halberd and shield wielder? Because that would be super spicy. Um, he is! Oh my god. Okay, I love that. I love that. Okay, so he's going to have a really unique dynamic. Because he's shielded, but he also has anti-large. I love that so much. The Chaos Lord of Zinch is built for combat. Carrying his trusty halberd makes him adept at fighting monsters and larger creatures. He can certainly go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the biggest foes the Warhammer world has to offer. He's also great at holding his ground through the use of his expert charge defense and charge reflection passive abilities. He also has marked by Zinch, so he has magical attacks and barrier by default. He also has a towering shield, magical halberd, so he's a defensive juggernaut who excels in fighting large targets, especially when mounted on a disc of Zinch, essentially becoming a big boy doom knight. I fucking love this character. This is really awesome. As a powerful tyrant, uh, fearsome leader, the Chaos Lord of Zinc inspires his followers and bonds their resolve. He uses Change or Die, uh, which is a Zinchian twist on Standard Die. He improves leadership and damage resistance? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. Um, that's super cool. I love that he has a unique leadership ability. Hmm. That's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, he can also make use of Paragon of Change, which it recharges a uh, barrier of nearby enemy, or improves the uh, barrier recharge. He looks phenomenal. He looks absolutely phenomenal. I love the feathers on the edge of the shield. I love all the eyes. Uh, yeah, he looks great. He, he looks ripped straight out of Warhammer Online. Uh, he's impressive. He's gorgeous. Love it. Uh, he can ride a steed, chariot, or a disc of zinch. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. The Exalted Hero of Zinch. When we started the process of finding a suitable model to best represent this character, we knew we wanted to do something a little different. So we went back really far back into the Warhammer archives looking at various depictions of Zinch champions. Um, in Rich's collection, they found an early metal model from the 90s. The Exalted Heroes of Zinch are ostensibly the most bizarre macabre of the Lord of Change's mortal servants. Their armor is typically Zinchian, inlaid with bands of gold and blue or silver, and assembled from strangely curving components, but is the god of generous uh, magic's generous gift of two extra heads that sets his exalted heroes apart from others on the battlefield. It is a change that irrevocably affects the mind, splitting a hero's mortal personality into three conniving extremes. With eyes still shut, the central head jeers the whims of the other two personalities dueling in leering cyclopean eyes on either side. Yet with a singular will, the creature swings its weapon with zinch imbued strength. Oh my god, I love him. Oh, he's so derpy looking in like the best way. So his central head doesn't have any eyes, but it has a mouth. And then each of his other heads has one eye, but no mouth. That is absolutely phenomenal. I love his appearance. He looks fantastic. Well, he's so like horrifically mutated. He looks really good. He looks really good. Uh, Zalta Hero is a melee specialist using magical attacks and high weapon strength to get into the thick of the action. He has a big old halberd. Rather than dual swords that the original model had, uh, that way he's more Zinch flavored because dual swords is corn shtick in Total War. He has solid melee defense that sustains him for a long time. He also has expert charge defense and charge reflection. He has the mark of Zinch, as we've already discussed. He's an anti large specialist and he has opportunist. Uh, oh, okay, so he has another unique ability. So, always scheming and seeking a path to greater glory, the exalted hero Zinch takes command if the Lord is slain. Okay, so he has the. Uh, he has the Skaven Chieftain ability. That's awesome. I love that. That's a really cool piece of flavoring that adds some really fun dynamics to him. And once again, just makes him more different. Um, I I really, really like what they've done with this uh, this character. Man, it kind of, <laughs> it's like, I, I can't help but feel like um, uh, if I was like a corn player, I'd be like, oh, I kind of wish our Lord and Hero had some like cool gimmicks. Like, you know, with Slanesh and Nurgle, 
they also have two missing slots so like they'll get some cool stuff um when we get around to those um those dlcs but uh um but yeah, no, this is great. I, I really, really love the design. I'm glad they did something weird for the Exalted Hero. Like, they could have they could have just basically done this, right? They could have just done, like, a different-looking version of the Chaos Lord. But I think going with a weird-looking mutant is... That is an excellent decision. And uh, is a really nice callback to an old, old-fashioned mini. Centigors of Zinch. As mentioned earlier, our thoughts here were to expand the connection Chaos has across many followers, in this case, Zinch. Using the Chaos Mark system, we opted for Centigors to provide bestial cavalry to add versatility to what is normally quite a missile and magic heavy focused army. Like with Zongors, these creatures have been developed based on the setting of Warhammer Fantasy Battles, so, you know, no beaks. Um, they are available to both Zinch and Beastmen, and uh, Rich has plans for improving the offering of Chaos Marked Beastmen in the future. Hey, maybe I, I hopefully hopefully that means we're getting uh hopefully that means we're getting um Minotaurs of Corn in the future. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. Thank you. Awesome. Excellent news. Uh let's see. Beastmen are creatures of pure uh pure chaos, so tend to exalt all four runes powers equally. However, sometimes a Shigor, that's interesting. That's the first mention we've had of a um uh lady sent course, which is great. Uh Shigor spawns a wealth that is a, clearly a chosen one of the changer of ways. It's fur patterned with the mark of Zinch, or it's horns curling to form his unholy symbol. These centigors are as bitter and spiteful as their non-Zinchian kin, with a strong resentment, resentment for their own clumsy, awkward nature, and harboring a deep jealousy for creatures whose minds and bodies are better matched. This feeds their arcane rage and makes them much more dangerous. Having been touched by Zinch, this is likely no coincidence. Awesome. Okay, so they're great weapon wielders. Uh, well, that yeah, that's good. That's gonna uh, that's gonna be a pretty nice uh, addition for for Zinch. Um, let's see, uh, so they, yep, they have great weapons, so you have more armor piercing, uh, so, like, basically a good, reliable armor piercing cavalry, which is nice, Zinch needs that, I think. Um, uh, yeah, because I, I would have done either great weapons or throwing axes, I think those are, those are the versions that would have worked, so I think great weapons is fine, that's totally cool, um, Yep, they benefit from Rowdy Primal Fury as well as the Mark of Zinch. Uh, they have armor piercing great axes, and they also deal magic and, uh, magic damage, which is great. And then Arcane Jar a Charge, initially introduced with Zinch, uh, or with Zongors, this is also available to the Centigors, which I think is absolutely cool. Looks great, awesome, fun. Uh, I like that they have, uh, it's hard to tell in this art, but I think they have feathered feet, which is really cool. I actually like that a lot. Um, yeah, I like all the feathers. Um, so yeah, these guys look really good. I love it. I, I like great. <laughs> and then the change bringers, and they are available to Zinch and Beastmen. Uh, I'm curious. The only thing they have not said in this article that I'm really, really hoping for is that we got the cockatrice for the the Beastmen roster as well. I'm really hoping we got the cockatrices added to Beastmen. Uh, with this update. Changebringers. Last by no means least are the Changebringers, a unit of flyers that fly across the battlefield on a disc of Zinch. These horrors will help Zinch quickly reach their enemies in battle and keep pressure on from above. Flamers are capable of fair turn to speed, expelling gaseous ichor through the fungoid skirt at the flame of their base to bound and leap across the ground with considerable mischievous gusto. A flamer uses blazing limbs to hurl bolts of magical flame at the foe. This is not a fire in its truest sense, but a roiling cloud of chaos energy. It does not burn, but warps reality. A flamer's victim might feel briefly invigorated before collapsing into a writhing puddle of flesh. So I'm curious. Oh, interesting. So they're disc writing flamers, um, which does make them quite different from the like uh, the exalted flamers, which ride the burning chariots. I'm curious how these are gonna function. Like what what's gonna be their overall um, system? A step up from your normal flamers of Zinch, change bringers have maneuverability, speed, and agility to be able to fly across the battlefield whilst ignoring terrain and any penalties they may cause. But if need be, their charge bonus will help them with the first move. Change bringers are one of the ultimate expressions of the chaotic nature of Zinch. Flamers of Zinch, which are uh, comparatively slow and lumbering, take to the skies, benefiting from better move and stuff. Okay, so there's. Okay, so yeah, this is. Wow, these are going to be actually super gross. Um, because, like, the only, the only big disadvantage to the exalted flamer on the 
chariot was that it just did not really have much ammo. Um, like the exalted flavors were powerful, but they just they only had so many shots. Uh, whereas this, these guys are gonna have ammo um, and are gonna be pretty freaking nasty. Uh, so flying missile cavalry, really nasty missile cavalry for Zinch is gonna be pretty powerful new addition. I like it. Uh, change bringers can rain down Zinchi and fire from above, making them one of the best flying missile units in the game. Being flamers of Zinch at their core, they benefit from the usual hallmarks. Armor piercing, flaming attacks, and warp flame are all present. However, due to their newfound mobility, they don't have quite as much of a barrier when com uh, compared to their ground-based Ken. So, you know, they don't have as much defense, but, like, goddamn, that is going to be a nightmare unit to deal with. All right, and then the final blog will be for Kislev later this week, which will probably be Friday. Um, gotta say... I think this looks great. I like the new units, you know, doing another Beastman unit and then also turning back to Storms of Chaos, I think is a really excellent way to fill in the roster and the new characters look incredible. Um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with the Lorded Hero, especially. Like the Centigors and the Changebringers, I think are good choices. You know, they're not like, huge wow factors but i think they fill some really nice niches in the zinchian roster we're like a a vanguard heavy armor piercing cavalry for zinch was is definitely a big need um zinch just doesn't really have a ton of good armor piercing um when it comes to combat so i think these guys are going to be really really great um, I should say fast moving armor piercing because like Zinch has a lot of halberds, but not a lot of just like flat out great weapons. So this is, I think this is going to be an excellent addition. And then, um, a flying missile cavalry that has actually a good amount of ammo and is going to be unleashing pretty devastating shooting attacks. Uh, this is a, that's a pretty big boy change, um, for Zinch. Like that's an excellent, 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 excellent addition in my opinion. Now, I would love if they would add the Realm of Chaos maps into Immortal Empires. I fucking love seeing the Realm of Zinch maps. It makes me really sad that we don't get these in Immortal Empires, except for, like, one quest battle. Um, or, like, one or two quest battles. But anyway, uh, I think this is really solid. Uh, it's definitely not quite as, like, ooh, ah, as the, as the Cathay one was. Uh, but I do think it fills some really notable gaps in the roster and the new characters are absolutely fantastic so uh yep everything looks great uh i think this is exactly what everyone kind of needed um do let me know what y'all think down below in the comments please let me know like how y'all feel about these units being added and once again keep me up to date on how this is kind of filling up the hourglass for you guys as far as um <laughs> Does this make Shadows of Change, the DLC, a more attractive proposition? You know, with what we've seen for Grand Cathay and now for Zinch, have you switched over to like, oh yeah, this is great, um, like I think this is totally worth it now, or are you still on the fence and wanting to see what Kislev has to offer, or are you like, oh, this is disappointing, I wanted XYZ and they did, they did ABC instead? Uh, do let me know, um, I'm happy to read those comments. And I will see you guys again very, very soon. I will say I am excited for this update to come into the game. Uh, I really hope that everything is working well um, and that I'm I'm glad they're taking an extra week because hopefully that means everything will be as smooth as it can be. And uh, yeah, I'll see you when I see you for that. So thank you. Have a lovely day and bye-bye.